Alrighty, I switched from our fuse to a 50 amp circuit breaker. Redo all of our tests to double check our results. So I have just one, bi one battery wired up as of now, and we're showing 12.8. And like I said, this is the ZY 1020, 48 volt, 1000 watt uh, electric motor. So we're doing our 12 volt load test first. We've got the card up against a black wall. It's sitting on its own. We'll hit our switch, do a burnout, and see what our reading shows. Oh, we don't have the circuit breaker on. Now we got power. Okay. 12 volt test. One more time. 50 amps. 12 volt test. Now we have first two batteries wired in series meter showing 25.7 and we'll do a load test at 24 volts Call it 64. Now we have batteries 1, 2, and 3 wired in series, so 36 volts. Meter showing 38.7. And we'll do our, our load test. <laughs> Okay, we'll call 36 volts at 75 amps. Alrighty, we have all four batteries wired in series for 48 volts. Our meter showing 51.8. I noticed when I was switching the wires around, our ground wires was feeling really warm. And then checking around, this connector plug the motor is really warm too. We're pulling a lot of amps, I guess you would say. Alright, one last test at 48 volts. Hopefully our tire can handle it. Alrighty, let's see what she does. MY no, this excuse me, this is a ZY 1020 48 volt 1000 watt load test at 48 volts whoa smoking the tire holy crap all right I've seen 80 volts or 80 what shit 80 amps. Yep, smoking the tire a little. Ooh. See, smoke here, but I think it was the tire, not the motor. Huh? The motor doesn't feel warm. Yep, them wires is holy crap, them wires is really warm. Tire is hot too. Okay, well that concludes our load test of the ZY 1020.